Hi, I'm Nezves and I do stuff. I want to teach you a very powerful thing that Godot makes pretty simple. It's packing your nodes into scenes. You can use it to save in-game created levels, save generated assets like NPCs, or even game levels you want to stay as the player left them. To demonstrate it, I created an example project you can download from the GitHub repository. Here I created a humanoid shape with sprite nodes and icon PNGs. You can randomize the modulate color property for each sprite node, then create a packed scene and an instance of it to see what is packed. To see that it's a totally different instance and not mirroring the original, let's randomize to a new color set. When you got the result you want, you can save it. In the example, it is set to save it as a new scene into the project folder. Let's check out what is saved. As you can see, it is the Humanoid node 3 with the same colors. Let's look at the code. Each button has corresponding method function connected to their pressed signal. Randomization is nothing special. It just chooses a random color for each node. The main meat comes from creating a package. For that I created a utility scene packer script that can be used in any project. You pass a reference to the node you want to be packed with its children. For packing a scene that holds all children nodes, it's needed to set the main node as the owner for all lower nodes. To get it done, the scene packer has a second method function set owner. It receives a reference to the main node for both arguments. It is needed because it will go through all lower nodes and will set their owner reference to the main node. Then we can use that packed scene for creating instances of this setup inside the instancing method function. First, we need to make sure we have a packed scene to create an instance from. The second check is for previously created instance. If it exists, then remove it with Quayo free. Then instance creation is exactly the same when you load or preload scene by calling the instance function on it. Then add the new scene instance as a child to the node that will hold the instance. In the saving method function, we also need to check if there is a packed scene to create an instance. Saving itself is pretty simple. By using the resource saver function save and giving it file location and reference to the packed scene. The saving function returns an error code you can use to verify if the saving was successful. I hope you learned something new. As always, you can leave questions or requests in the comments. See you next time!